Good morning, y'all. This is Matt of Scavenger. We out here looking for some treasure on the curb. Monday mornings are always good because people have been cleaning out their garages on the weekends and stuff. So hopefully we find some good stuff and they fill that truck up. You know what I'm saying, man? All right, Cletus, let's go. Ow! What we got here, y'all? What we got here? What's that sign say? Resistance does not work. Okay. I mean, who likes resistance anyways? I don't. Resistance is for pansies. Real men just lift trash. That's some, that's some high quality trash right there, guys. Yeah, yeah. Saw this interesting looking box. Look at all those old stickers. That's kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Six flags over Texas. Not gonna lie, I'll take it. Oh. Dog pet, Arkansas. That's pretty cool. I like that. What's in that? What's in that tote, y'all? What's in that tote? Let's see. We got something in there. That tote. Oh, it's an empty tote, y'all. Take it that. Look at that, y'all. Some more high quality trash. <clears throat> yeah. What we got here? What we got here? That little scrappity scrap scrap. <sighs> What's up, Sprinkler has such. What that is, y'all? What that is? What that is? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Ow! What we got here, y'all? I see a toad. <laughs> what the heck? Anything good? Anything good? Nope, those are... That's a good little toad. Well, it's all busted up. Must have just colored pencils. Got over here. A trophy, a competitor. Butt wipes. Big in here. Is that one in good shape? Uh, it's caved in. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, just a bunch of junk. These are cool. Probably get a quarter a piece, 50 cents a piece for those. Look at that shoe, y'all. All right, all right. Check that out, y'all. It's a pedestal base for a table. <sighs> yeah, we'll leave the table. You can see that's all MDF and plywood. But this guy, the, the, the pedestal bases, those are all solid wood. If you were to buy this guy brand new, like, you know, online, just the base, you know, over a hundred bucks. So you take the base, get you some wood, make your own top. You got a piece of furniture, bam. Easy money. Yeah. And we'll get y'all a video of some furniture stuff, guys. I, I hear y'all. I hear what y'all are saying. I promise we'll get y'all something, okay? All right. Let's see what we 
we got here, y'all? What we got over here? It looks a little too rusted for resale. I mean, I don't know. Probably just scrap her out. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. What we got here? That's heavy. Oh, that says Pearl. That's part of a drum set. Look at this little go kart, y'all. It's a little razor. Oh, El Cheapo. Oh, I'll throw it back here, though. Got a uh, all right, yeah, trash. I see a pole sticking out. We'll spool some cable. What that is what that is. What that is. Yes, sir, I'll take you. Take you all day long, son. All right. Tempted by the fruit of another. Look at that. Oh, weed eater. Oh. Look at that thing. It melted. That's what happens when you buy home light. You risk your life. True story. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> that's pretty, y'all. Oh, that's real pretty. There ain't nothing wrong with it. All right. We'll be careful with her. This has definitely got resale value right here, y'all. So we'll be super careful not to break that globe. I'm worried. I'll tell you what, let's put her up front. Ugh. All right. Just to be safe because that can definitely fetch a few dollars. Don't, don't, don't scratch up my dash. Ooh, look at all that. Need to clean that off. Look like, oh, hell no. Not in my truck. Be right back here, yo. Just have to be careful. Pray to God we don't break you, cause that is, that's a mess. <laughs> What's up ceiling fan? What you doing? Got room? I'll make some room back here. This will be my scrap end. Scrappity scrap, scrap. Holy crap, y'all. Look at that. It's a rug doctor. Let's get it. Look at this, y'all. That's good furniture making stuff right there. I don't know, we'll plug her in and see. Yeah, this looks like all parts to a table. So we'll see if we can put her back together. Look at those swirl marks. That's a random orbital sand or somebody going way too fast. It looks like most of it. Careful, my stuff. Cool. What that is? What that is? It's 
like it's missing something. You can probably put some plywood in there for some shelving, but we'll see. We'll take a look, see if it's worth our time. Our ceiling fan. This one's missing the uh, blades. <laughs> Hi right, y'all, look at that. It's another chandelier. Hot damn, son. Oh, that one's broken. Stick her back here. Oh, that one might just be for the scrapyard. It looks all. We'll take a closer look at it. What else we got over here? Oh, look at that. I think those are aluminum. Yeah, I think those are aluminum. Woo, we're filling her up today, y'all. I think I saw a little boom box, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. This would be in pretty good shape. We'll plug her in and see if she works. Little dusty, little dusty, little cobwebby, but you know. Free. Little scrappy scrap scrap scrap. Look at that, y'all. It's a frame. The frames are hot. <laughs> yeah, this thing's got 49 bucks on it. I mean, it probably had a picture or whatever, but. Use the frame for show. Couple bucks. Got a microwave. Oh, there's a shop back. Take that sucker. We'll plug her in, see if she works. She's got a little motor and oh, ooh, that thing's dirty. What's up, pool ladder? Oh, all right. See a really loud colored bag it's like clothes Ugh. Sadie I had a dog named Sadie what's up poles poles in the trash poles in the trash Alrighty guys, well another successful day of getting some stuff. We got some good stuff today too. Today's a Monday, went out on a Monday. Mondays are usually to always really good because people, you know, especially in the springtime, people cleaning out their house, cleaning out their garage, just throwing stuff out on the curb and uh, you know, for people like me to just come by and scoop up. Uh, got a little bit of scrap back there, you know, that uh, the little si the cycling machine. I'm just gonna scrap it out. They said the resistance doesn't work. The case is all cracked on it, um, uh, you know, so I don't even wanna mess with it. Just go ahead and scrap her out. That home light that was half melted, scrap her out. We got those fans up there, we're gonna scrap them out. 
Well, we did get some pretty good resellable items here, enough to make a few bucks, that is for sure, for sure. Uh, first up is this box. This is the coolest little box here. I'm thinking maybe it uh, it went, it was part of a, uh, like a, uh, maybe like a little camper or somebody went camping with it. Uh, you know, there's a little tarp in here. And then when you look at all these stickers, you know, Mesa Verde National Park, Colorado, uh, we've got here dog patch arkansas grand canyon um, monarch crest and colorful colorado petrified forest national park confidence brand name satisfaction award-winning retailer huh and then on the side there's a six flags over texas dallas fort worth really old sticker there yeah, it's just a really cool, eclectic piece. Uh, but I'm guessing it was something that got hauled around with uh, family excursions and whatnot. And I just, I couldn't let it sit. I had to grab it. So yeah, probably get a couple bucks. I don't, I mean, may just hang on to it. I don't know. I don't know. Although mama probably will say, gotta get rid of it. And then uh, we found this, uh, this little guy over here. Um, it looks like, maybe there was three little end tables here we've got the uh you know the spindles and then three tops three bottoms but it looks like it's missing this you know it looks like maybe three little tiered tables and maybe one of them broke i don't know but anyway you know those are those that's a round cut piece of uh, wood you go to you know home depot that's probably probably about 30 inches diameter home depot lows or whatever you could pay 30 40 bucks i think for something like that or maybe not quite 40 uh correct me if i'm wrong i'm sorry and uh you know but just uh you know with the woodworking and stuff build something cool with it or try to rebuild them make a few bucks there and then back here we got the uh the little pedestal table pedestal uh good shape i mean it's definitely off of a cheap piece of furniture but uh with these tables uh the tops a lot of time the tops are just uh the, this mdf press board stuff right here and uh they end up breaking fall apart people toss out these uh the uh the, the the whole you know usually it's the whole table uh but you know if they have to get it through the door they'll take the pedestal off but these pedestals these pedestals are solid wood because these have to support the load of the table uh so these usually withstand or last longer than the tabletop suit and then, uh, you know, so you take this off, this little piece of MDF right here, I'll take off, replace it with, you know, some three quarter ply, plywood. Um, and then this right here, it's got a real thick, we could probably, probably just slap some primer on it and then go over it with a country white and just kind of distress it up, do a, you know, like a slatted stain top or something like that, you know, throw a couple, couple hundred bucks on it, call it a day. But yeah, these uh, piece pedestals, uh, if you could buy these raw online, uh, pre-made and you know they're gonna cost you you know 100 bucks 150 bucks so those are always good to find see over here we got a uh, uh some curtain rods um these are all good they turn in turn out uh you know put those quarter a piece of the garage sale this was a whole rod nothing wrong with it you know maybe put a buck on it uh, these guys looks like they're just parts, so we'll probably end up just scrapping, scrapping those out because there's no other piece to that. Got this uh, frame here, little picture frame. You know, those are always cool for decorative pieces or whatnot, staging furniture, or, or just you know throw a couple bucks in the garage sale. Uh, got some baskets here. Found a microwave. I opened her up. She's missing the dish, so uh, we'll plug her in see if she works. But I really don't know. Cause I'm not gonna sink money into buying a dish to try to resell this for just a few bucks. So, but let's see here. We'll plug her in. Let's see if we got anything. Yeah, there's no numbers flashing, no sound, no light. Yeah, she's toast. Toast, toast, toast to the scrapyard and then we got this little shout back right here probably works uh it's really dirty look like they did something like a real dirty job and they probably probably just said to heck with it and just threw it out so but we'll plug it in see if she works yep. there's not a whole lot of not a whole lot of 
suction going on, but I bet it's just really dirty in there and just needs to be cleaned out. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll clean that up, you know, five bucks. Nice and easy. And then we found a couple of uh, these uh, chandeliers. This one's really nice. Definitely be able to get 20 bucks, 30 bucks for that guy right there. This one, not so much. There's a bottom piece right here. Definitely broke, might've been like something down there. It may still be worth a couple of bucks. We'll throw it up in the garage. I'll see if somebody, you know, five bucks. See if somebody's interested in taking it. If not, you know, then we'll just take it to the scrapyard, get what we can for it there. Over here, I think this is a, uh, like a drum, a drum, you put your drum right here, or the, you know, like the drum set, it's a pearl. And then like you put like a snare drum or something right here. And I think that's, I think that's what that is. Um, you know, let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's for holding a drum because Pearl, they do drums. And uh, yeah, somebody just tossed that out, but hey, yay, yay. You can probably get a couple bucks for it, for sure. You know, it's not in the best of shape. Just clean it up. A little piles here, or there. Nice, nice and easy. You know, the church around my house, probably just donate it to the band or whatever. And got that little uh, Razor uh, go-kart back there probably just gonna scrap it out i'll take the batteries out put them in the pile but i doubt this is really worth anything or i don't know uh, a couple of these little uh spinning vent things that go on the roof i believe those are aluminum we'll check those out yeah those are they're pretty beat up i think i probably did that in the back but yeah probably just end up scrapping those out little shelf here put a couple bucks on it to garage sale uh shelves are always good and we found this rug doctor which is bizarre i've never found one of these before uh i thought you could only rent these at the store but um somebody's definitely cracked it open it's missing the screws so i'm willing to bet money there's something something fishy with it but let's plug her in and see up this way Let's see. yeah let's press press for spray oh where's the where's the on off switch y'all oh there it is it turns on so yeah, I could probably sell this for parts or, I mean, I don't want to really mess with it too much, but I'll see if I can get her working, you know, uh, but y'all let me know if I'm allowed to have this because I thought these are, like I said, I thought I've only seen these at grocery stores, but I guess you could buy one. I don't see why they would, you know, stick strictly to the store, but anyway. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this stuff put away. Uh, we'll go ahead and run up to the scrapyard. I know we ain't gonna get much, but I'll go ahead and throw in some uh, I got some some more of those cable clippings We could throw in maybe a couple other things I'll see what we can all toss in to make the trip worthwhile But yeah, so we're gonna put this up run up to the scrapyard get a little get a little extra cash You know for the way home or whatever and uh, call her a day. So let's go guys All right, well, let's run up to the scrapyard y'all. We got a little bit of iron not too much I'm gonna say probably three four hundred pounds at most Got a few uh, electric motors here, and then we got these little wire clippings, these uh, extensions they call them. So we'll take that up there, make the most of it. Let's go. Ow! That's my hair, y'all. Is it big? Hey, y'all. We are pretty. Pretty birds. Yeah. Yeah. Geese. I see you. Alrighty, y'all. Let's go get a little jingle jingle. What you say?
Alright, so I'm up on the scale, but I think the scale's a little broken. There's a dude flagging me. I'm doing wheel at a time, so I'm guessing the scale's busted. So they're manually doing it right now. Yeah, they have me drive up one axle at a time, stop on the front axle, on the rear axle. They tell me go on third. Man, that sucks. That rim is sitting on the ground. Holy cow, I wonder what happened. Alrighty guys, well we just left the scrapyard. We got a smorgasbord of stuff for you. We'll start off with the iron. Uh, we had a net of 300 pounds. I was right on the money there. Five cents a pound, 15 bucks. Number two wire that was in that black basket there, we had 15 pounds of that at 75 cents a pound. Gives us $11.25. Uh, the extensions, that's what we had in the blue tub. Uh, we had a net of 46 pounds, a rate of 30 cents a pound. It gives us $13.80. Uh, the electric motors, we had a net of 66 pounds at 16 cents a pound. Gives us $10.56. Uh, and breakage, the breakage like the ceiling fans, the weed eaters. I uh, had some of those, uh, those tripods that I found a few days ago in the dumpster. I was able to fix most of them. But there's a few of them that I had to take parts of to fix the other ones. So we ended up uh, scrapping those out. That's going to all go under breakage. We had 50 pounds of that. Eight cents a pound, four dollars. And then I had one ballast that was given to me as a little gift. Appreciate that, guys. Um, uh, three pounds, six cents a pound, 18 cents. Big whopping 18 cents. Uh, gives us a, a total of fifty four dollars and seventy nine cents. That, plus a few things that we found for resale, the woodworking stuff, man, it was a great day. I can't even, I mean, I can't even explain to you guys how awesome it is. But uh, anyways, uh, that's gonna do it for today. We're gonna get back at it, do some more scavenger hunting for you guys uh, tomorrow. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, hit the notification bell down below to stay up to date with the videos. Uh, check me out on Instagram, I got one. Uh, shout out to everybody buy a t-shirt. I appreciate that guys. Uh, if you're interested down below I got a teespring. It should have a teespring link. Get yourself a t-shirt. Look cool, man. Anyways. All right, y'all take care Enjoy the rest of your day Party on ah!